Hello guys, welcome to another video. Bienvenidos, bienvenidos, welcome, welcome. Today is a rainy day, guys. It's raining, it's gonna be raining today. We got 90% today, and tomorrow we have, I wanna say, uh, 50% of rain. Hopefully, it doesn't rain a lot because tomorrow I got some stuff to do. I, I need to mow some lawns. I got a call from a few people that need their long cuts. I got two commercials to do tomorrow and a few residentials. And uh, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna see what I can do tomorrow if it doesn't rain. Yeah. So today is a beautiful day. Nice weather, rainy weather. I I hear a lot of people always say, man, today is a bad weather, ug ugly weather. I don't know where people get that from, but for me, it's a beautiful, nice weather. Look at that. What are we doing, John? Se me chingó la máquina, se le cayó la banda. Allá falta un pedacillo en la orilla aquella. All right, guys. So yesterday, I started the vlog yesterday and uh, I didn't finish just because, man, I didn't do nothing. Well, I did some stuff at the house, but uh, it was rainy and I didn't feel like vlogging. So I just picked up the camera today. Today is Friday and we just got a few yards, I want to say five yards on schedule. And uh, hey guys, look at that. Today, 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 man, the band broke again on this baby right here. Se quebró esta cosa, res. Se quebró, se zafó. Oh, you know what I think? Yes. Yeah, it didn't broke, it just came off. Yeah, it just came off. I'll probably get it fixed in a few. I thought it, I thought it broke, but no, it just came off. Yeah, it just came off. I'll probably get it fixed on the other, on the next yard. I'll probably just get it fixed at the house. I don't feel like dealing. I don't feel like dealing with it right now. this one right here it rained yesterday all day it was really wet and uh we don't mow we don't really mow on the next day when it's really rainy because as you might see it's wet though it's wet as you might see and we don't really like putting big mowers in yours people yours because we get it messed up <clears throat> but when we do when we do have to mow and I don't really mow unless they ask me for it or they're like, man, can you please come and mow it? It really needs it. When we do, that's why we use the Toro Time Master or any self-propel or push mower 21 inch. 
that's what we use or that's yeah that's what i use because i don't want to leave no marks on the grass as you may see we didn't leave no marks because we use the uh, small mowers <coughs> we use small mowers so i don't really mow like i told you only if they call me they need it done plus today is friday and uh yeah we took a kick we took care of this one and i know there's people that don't like uh push mowers no more there's people that they don't have no push mowers on their setup but me yeah i like to have always a push mower so chill come on baby so chill he's sleeping guys Sarah. We got chill in the house. What's up, chill? Yeah, guys. So it's always nice to have a lawn care. I, 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 I always have a push mower on your lawn setup. Right now, the uh, the belt, the one that engages the blades, it came off, and I was I was almost finished with it. Uh, good thing chill will help me out with the weed eater. He cut whatever I didn't get with the push mower. The Toro, so he got it taken care of for me. Got you. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, yesterday I uh, had a question from uh, one of my subscribers. Shout out to him. He's from Texas. I want to say he's in Katy. Shout out to you, my boy. And he was asking me, I don't know. If, okay, this question is uh one of those questions that you're gonna have to learn yourself because every yard is different every grass is different and depends on how the grass because there's grass that is thick and there's grass that is uh uh how you call it no there's times where there's grass it's, it's a lot of grass and there's yards that you don't have uh, like a lot of grass i don't know how to tell you like, hay yardas que tienen mucho a sacarte así como eh, tupido, está muy tupido, hay bastante, tiene bastante sacarte. Y hay yardas que están así medias peloncitas que tienen sacatito, pero no, 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 no tan llenas de sacarte. And he was asking me, uh, how, how, what size, what size do you recommend to mow? What size should I mow on this top of yours? Like, me in each yard, each grass is different, so I, I mow in different sizes. I mow from two and a half all the way to four, four and a half. Because there's grass that needs to be cut at four or three and a half, because if you cut it two inches or two and a half, that grass is gonna look like crap. Or <laughs> it's gonna look ugly. It's gonna look like bald. So I mean, pelón la yarda. So every yard is different. What I recommend you doing, if it's a first time mow, if it's a first time yard, a first time client, I always put my mowers at the highest, like I want to say four and a half, four, and then I give it one pass. If it looks good on four and a half, I'll leave it four and a half. If it looks like it's not, it needs to come down, I'll put it down. Because every yard is different. I mean, you're not going to be mowing every yard at the same level. Most of them, are yeah, most of them you're gonna let, like most of my yards I mow them of three and a half or three. And there's a few yards that I mow at two and a half and a few yards that I mow four and a half. But regular, most of my yards is three, three and a half. Tres, tres y medio raza. Depende la yarda, depende, depende el sacate, mi gente, porque todos los uh, sacates son muy diferentes. Hay unas, como les digo, hay unas yardas que tienen bastante sacate. Tan repletas, tan llenas, tan tupiditas. Es igual que el pelo. Yo, como yo tengo poco pelo, y hay gente que tiene bastante pelo, así como muy tupido. Como Cheo, mire. Cheo está el pelo bien tupido. Y yo lo tengo más, sí, lo tengo pelón, pero tengo poquito, like. Está como, ¿qué me entienden? Con una madrecita aquí, otra madrecita acá, dice uno. Yes, so, mi gente. Así es como lo hacemos nosotros. This 
one wasn't wasn't too wet. This one I did it with uh, BK with Kubota 48 inch. Look at that! Look at those crispy edges. Do you guys use uh, edges? Well, for you guys that are barely starting your loan business, let me tell you. Uh, I recommend you guys using a a weed eater to do the edge. Well, I mean, because if you get good with the weed eater, you're gonna be a master with the etcher because the etcher is easy. But to do the edges with the string trimmer, that's how you gotta be careful. You gotta go slow because you need to go straight and uh, you gotta be careful. We just finished this one right here. Small 45 yard. You got two blowing. Let's see what. There's tail blowing. Yeah, so I was talking about, uh, we were talking about uh, what size, what number should I mow it. So you're gonna have to learn that myself, bro, because I can tell you, but uh, it's, every yard is different. So you just don't have to kind of look at your yards, kind of look at the grass and, uh, like this area right here, guys, look at that. This area right here, it has a lot of grass. You know, that yard right there, it has a lot of grass. Like you can barely see the, the, the ground, the, the dirt, the soil. So if you can't see the soil, and you see nothing but grass, those type of yards, you gotta mow, don't mow them too low because they look ugly. They look uh, bald. Se ven pelonas, si la cortan muy, 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 uh, si la cortan muy uh, abajo, ese tipo de yarda se va a mirar muy pelona. Yo les recomiendo que la corten en el, esta es más o menos esta en el tres y medio, cuatro, tres y medio, cuatro, para que se vea bonita. Si la corta en dos, dos y medio, se va a ver, pero bien fea, bien pelona. So you don't have to uh, kind of uh, use your own opinion. Another thing, some clients like the yards, uh, tall they don't like him uh really low and there's clients that are going to have an overgrown yard and they're going to want a really small that's a no no whenever i mow over your overgrown overgrown yards i don't even bring the deck down i just mow it like that and then just next week come and and do another mow for and then bring it down maybe three and a half three three and a half depends on how overgrown is it Shout out to Mr. Taylor Productions. Thank you, my friend, for always being encouraging or always being uh, uh, always supporting supporting my channel. And yes, you are right, my friend. I'm a U.S. citizen. I was born here, but I was raised in Mexico. And uh, yeah, I love this country. I love my country. I like the USA. Come on, baby, Trump 2020. <laughs> I mean, not 2020, Trump 2024, 23. Anyways, yeah, I don't wanna go into politics or any of that, but uh, yeah, I love the, my country. So with that being said, let me tell you like this. Yeah, I'm here, I'm, I'm living here in the United States. I've been living in Mexico. I, I lived in Mexico for a while. I, I went over there, I went back to Mexico and I live over there for a while. And now I came back over here to the United States on um, 2000, I want to say 2007, 2007, 2008, I came back to the United States and started living over here. And yes, I'm making a house. I'm making a house in Mexico. Just whenever I go on vacations, I want to go to my own place because I don't want to spend too much, uh, <coughs> spend too much, uh, money on hotels or or staying with my mother-in-law. I mean, she's, she's a really good mother-in-law, but it's always nice to have your own place. Okay, that child already sleeping. Just came in here and I already fell asleep. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, so that's why we're making a house in Mexico because I want to have my own place whenever I go over there. And, and we're going to stay here in Beta. Yeah, whenever I get old, I probably go back to Mexico. Whenever I'm retired, go over there and live for a, a 
couple of months, three months. And Cheo and John and Isaac, they can take care of the company while I'm over there. Take care of the company? Yeah. It'll be straight party, Yeah, guys, so that's, that's are my plans. But yeah, for, for now, I'm gonna be living here, guys. So don't get me wrong, I ain't going back to Mexico. I'm just going back to over there to have some vacations. Why not, Bacho? Bueno, muy raza, vamos a continuar en estos yardas, en estas yardas mojadas. Están viendo muy bonitas, they're looking pretty right now with this rain, Bacho. Mira eso. Yeah, so we got some chill. Hello, Bacho. Apocalypse Nails Sundown Seven Yeah, Chill wants to put a uh, system on my new GMC I told him, yeah, if he, if he buy it, I'll put it to my GMC Sponsor? If he wants to sponsor me, I'll, I'll put them in there mm -hmm. Some DS18s 50 sounds Come on Sundowns Come on um, Tweeters Drivers Bueno, mi gente, I'm trying to make a video every day, guys. I'm trying to make a blog every day. Please leave in the comments if you guys want me to do a blog every day. A truck, truck. Chill, like those trucks right there. Puro tacuachi and the key. Yeah, so let me know, guys, if you want me to blog every day. Uh, make a video every day. At least Monday to Friday. Or maybe every day, guys. I'll probably make a video every day to the end of the year or at least to Christmas. That chill. I'll probably make a video every day, but you guys gotta let me know if you want me to make a video every day. Also, leave in the comments what would you like me to talk about, and we will, we will be talking about it. We would also make um, racing content. We're gonna be posting races, 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 trucks, racing trucks. Yeah, guys, so please leave in the comments what would you like us to post. I know the long carriage cam is slowing down, so we'll try to make a video every day and put some long care talk in it. We came to the next yard. Chill, when I'm back on Fado, you're good, baby. You're good. Oh. Haven't even slept. You running, hungry? Running on straight coffee. Yeah, guys, Chill hasn't slept. He was playing Fortnite all night. I don't know. He was playing Fortnite and buying some skins and uh, B bucks. He wants to buy. He's working because he wants to buy some B bucks. B bucks. How do you say it, man? B bucks. B boy. B boy. B. Oh, um, I say break them. Yeah. yeah, guys. So. Vamos a cortar la que sigue, mi raza. Yeah. So over here, my friends. Yeah, we've been mowing. We haven't been mowing this part. Over here, I made a mistake. Well, it's because the first time I came over here, first time I came over here and mowed this yard. This yard, uh, it's a new yard. We've been mowing it uh, since, uh, I wanna say, we, we're, we've been mowing this one for uh, like around, we started mowing it, I wanna say, uh, May, yeah, May or June. I want to say July, May, June, June, July, somewhere around there, guys. And when I came and mowed the first time, as you may see, it was only mowed this side and this side wasn't mowed. So when I came and mowed this one, I, I was like, well, I guess we're only mowing this side. And last week, this week, I received a call from uh, the my boss the lady that uh, gives me these uh, properties. And she say, Romero, they call me from uh, West Coast property. And they say, you haven't been mowing this side. I was like, really? I didn't even suppose, I didn't even knew we were supposed to mow this part too. No wonder I was, I was wondering who mows this one because they haven't mowed it. So now we gotta mow this one. What's up, chill? Aquí para todo esto, huiría todo hasta allá. Pero si quieres primero huiría lo bonito, H, 
Y después tienen que sacar lo feo. Huh. Stay in school. Stay in school, chill, guys. Chill was a drop off. He dropped off at eighth grade because he was always missing school. And he was like, you know what? You're gonna miss school a lot. You're gonna be working, baby, because I ain't got time to be dealing with pe uh, kids that don't want to go to school without you. Mm -hmm. So now he's working out here. Anyways, mi gente, yeah. Vamos a cortar este pedazo. I gotta mow this one right here, so I'm not gonna record because this is gonna take a long time. We're finished right here, guys, with this property. I don't know if you guys remember how it was. I mean, it's not perfect, as you guys might see, but it's better than, than it was. It's, it was overgrown, so, yeah, so now I know what exactly I need to mow. So I need to mow from that building over there, on this side of this building, all the way to this fence right here that fence right there yeah that's my property line so yeah look at that look look at bk all dirty nasty little motor yeah we got it taken care with big uh kubota bk and little g right there jones jones blowing right there yeah so we got it taken care of this property Took us like a, I wanna say, man, took us like one hour and a half. An hour and a half. No, I think it was an hour, about an hour. And uh, yeah, I gave it a two passes. Two passes and uh, it's not perfect, but uh, next time we come, it should look better. It will look better. Anyways, I guess we're gonna call it a day, guys. I'm gonna call it a day and uh, keep commenting. Shout out to all of you guys that always keep uh, coming on my videos. For some reason, uh, sometimes YouTube won't uh, uh, recommend my videos or let you know, guys, when I drop a video. But uh, please like, comment, and uh, push the bell notification. That way, uh, you get notified every time we drop a video. And smash that button. I quedo mi raza. Bueno, pues nos vemos. Nos despedimos, mi gente bonita, mi gente de bien, échenle ganas. Keep hustling out there, guys. Keep hustling. Keep making that money. Make it happen. Make it happen, guys. Don't give up, man. Don't give up, man. You can do it. You can do it all night long. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember the movie, The Water Boy. You can do it all night long. Nos vemos, raza. Nos vemos. See you tomorrow por tu morrito.